Day one, day sold. We show you everything at Mustang Medic. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, love your Mustang. MustangMedic.com delivers gorgeous women once again. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Here's Tommy's 1969 Mustang Coupe. Check it out. Mustang Medic update video on a 1969 Coupe. Tommy's. It was bothering me yesterday. I'm sitting there. I put the flex plate on. As I was putting it on, it went in, and then I started tightening it up, and it started losing its shape. It started pulling on one side and it was staying up on the other side. I'm going, something's wrong. This flex plate should be flat. This is not should not be going. And what I realized was, was that there's Palm Springs police right there. Um, what I realized was that I needed. I'm sitting there going, ah, it's just not right. I'm going to call my transmission guy, Dana Sniff. Dana Sniff Transmissions. Props to you, Dana. Props to you. It's great to have resources, many resources with um, knowledge base and uh, Dana's been doing transmissions probably the day I was born but he's a really young guy <laughs> he's like Will flex plate you got two drain plugs on the, on your uh, on your um, torque converter and when you're tightening up the plate it's distorting because it's running into the plate or one of the balancers and I'm like oh that's what it is that's what it is I knew it wasn't right he says a good thing you didn't start it it would have been whining like a son of a gun so Fortunately, with that kind of research that we did yesterday, we found out that we've got to pull the transmission back a little bit, turn the flex plate a quarter turn, and then the two um, drain plugs on the torque converter will fit. Very important tip. Many times this happens. Dana says lots of guys put on the flex plates, don't realize it. I saw it distorting, and I'm like, no, nah, this shouldn't be bending while we're tightening it up. So make sure when you put your flex plate onto your C4, C6, look at the torque converter and look at the drain plugs are they lining up with the holes in the flex plate that allows them to go through the holes or are they running into the plate or ie the um the weight ours i believe is the 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 drain plugs are running into the flex plate because i watched the, the great thing about watching the videos is i went back and watched the old videos you guys can do it too and you'll see when i'm spinning the torque converter there's two drain plugs on both sides and then you look at the flex plate and the hole that where it should be is not showing the weight coming through so we're going to take it off pull the trans out a quarter a little bit of the way turn the flex plate a quarter turn it'll line up with those holes and i'll show it to you on video in a moment so here we go fine tuning and we should have her running today and tommy should be picking her up so yippee kaye and tommy's great he's like well take your time Get it done right, whatever you got to do, and I appreciate that in, uh, in my clients. Thank you, Tommy. All right, here we go. And for the record, guys, I called Tommy, let him know we were making these adjustments. There was no extra cost to him. It was simply us correcting what uh, was not put on correctly. So uh, we fixed it. it. Didn't cost him anything more. Flex plate adjustment. Put her all back together. Get her running. Take her for a drive. Call Tom. We're going to try to wash her. It's actually raining out here. Call Tommy, and uh, she's out of here. Yippee ki yay! Raining Palm Springs. He he took me took the words right out of my mouth. Um, all right, so here goes. It's raining. It's dark. Look, we've got lamps on up here. I'm just like in shock. Oh, okay. Show him. It's coming down now. All right, I'm going to show you the rain. Nick thinks I should show you the rain. I'm going to show you the rain. All right, so what we're doing now is Nick is uh, and Carlos have loosened up the transmission again, taken off the transmission bracket. We're backing it out so we can move the quarter turn. This is Palm Springs. I know, you guys are like, what? What? What's the big deal? This is like our everyday. This is very unique for us over here in Palm Springs. All right, um, you're going to be seeing that a little bit later. You'll be seeing that a little later, and that, oh, I digress. Okay, here we go, moving in, going underneath, Tommy 69 again. Underneath 69, 69 underneath, all right, here we go. All right, so what we're looking at here is the, go ahead, rotate it, Carlos. Nice and easy. I don't think it's going to rotate. No, it's okay, keep rotating, I want to see it, keep rotating. 
Actually, it's gonna pop off. It's okay if it pops off. Keep going. What we're doing is we're rotating the engine right now and looking at the plate. I want to show you. See this right here, guys? Keep going, Carlos. You see this hole right here, guys? Watch your finger. Right, keep coming. This hole, right? Take your time, Carlos. All right, right there. Good. See this hole right here? That hole is where, uh, and I'll give you a video clip. Here it is. Two. Yeah, I think it went in two. Same guys, where the bolts aren't, those are drain plugs. The second click is what did it. And it's very important to make sure those little, those two little knobs you saw on the um, video of the torque converter, those are drains, and there's two of them. This is a flex plate that's specifically designed for that torque converter. There's two holes on both sides I'm counting on, and that's where that should be fitting. So right now what we're doing is we're backing the transmission out a little bit more so we can do a quarter turn and line the, the drain plugs up with those holes. Here we go. Holding. All right, so Nick and Carlos is holding the engine uh, steady so it won't move. Uh, Nick is tightening up the torque converter. It's in the correct position. I'll show that to you in a moment. A very important show, tip. You show right and now. I'm putting the carburetor on Done? to the top of uh, Tommy's 302. That'll rock. It's going back on. So we're going to be able to start putting everything all back together again. Drive shaft now. The exhaust system has been reconnected. And here we go. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. I have no doubt it takes in a while, so I thought I'd add this quick clip. Really? All right, guys, this is a... How many times am I going to say guys, 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 guys? All right, guys, hey, guys, this guy's, hey, guys, because... This is a 